humans are very inquisitive and insatiable now meaning that they are looking for several reasons and several knowledge as regard a particular what problems or issues and also they are never satisfied when the what they achieve a particular what feat okay so in a world that is changing, in a world that is dynamic, whereby we tend to see new problems and new issues, humans have taken it upon themselves to look for solutions for those what issues. Now, this takes us or brings us to what we mean by what research. Okay. Now, what is research in this context? It is what the process of systematically finding solution to what a problem. So definitely problem what may arise problem must what arise okay we also know that there are no what there are no new problems there are only one new victims to what the problem so definitely we look forward for ways and solution to what to tackle these what problems as the what arise now this gives birth to what we call what the what the research okay so research in this context we're talking about the, what the academic what research that have to do with um finding out why certain um situation happen in the academic line and if you are um, a student definitely either an undergraduate or a graduate or a postgraduate definitely you must have undergone this aspect throughout your what your course of study okay so research as we said is one a process of systematically looking at forward um solutions to um, a problem now research can take different form now it can take the form of so-called scientific research also artistic research and historical research okay now so the scientific research tends to deal with the formulation of research question and hypothesis that can lead to what formulation of what theories and what and principle okay so that is the um, scientific research why the artistic research the kind of research that is based on creative and artistic work that can be compared with what each other Okay. Now, why the historical research has to do with guidelines by which historians use historical sources, archives, and other, other evidences to research and write history. Okay. So these are the three forms of um, a research: the scientific, artistic, and what historical research. Okay. Now, for the purpose of this video and in terms of content, we'll be looking at these three aspects of um, the three forms of research. Um, which will be on a project, uh, a set thesis, and dissertations. Okay, now the project is mostly for the undergraduate. Okay, uh, mostly for what undergraduate, those in their what in their final year. Okay, the most time though might be apt to, or to bring topics as regards their what their discipline either in accounting or management or marketing or banking and finance depending on the course okay once you get to what the final year you'll be asked to what to get a topic as regards that what that discipline that course of study that you're going to write upon to research on a particular what problem in that what course of study to provide solution to that problem okay so the project is mostly for undergraduate now they'll be required to, to submit topics Topic, okay to um to a board that will have to or a lecturer that will have to what, approve the topic before the word to proceed okay now why the other part which is a thesis is for um those doing their masters okay their masters and they are mostly the what the graduate the graduate that tends to um want to further more okay those doing their what their masters so in this aspect also um they'll be asked to what they'll be given what a topic or they'll be asked to submit a topic that will be approved okay at the, at the process of what getting admission for um masters okay so once it has been approved they'll be required to write to write on those what topic and it will be more advanced than that of the word the undergraduate because it is believed that at this point in time um you've gained experience and you are um, you're supposed to what to write at a professional level than that of the word the undergraduate. Why the third aspect is the dissertation, um, which is known for those in PhD. Okay, those um, that is enrolling for a doctorate degree in a particular word discipline. Okay, now most time in some schools it's also called thesis. Okay, but it's probably known as what dissertation. Now 
um, those going for a doctoral degree, degree those going for a doctoral degree are mostly um, research it is mostly on what research okay so these are the three aspects the project thesis and what dissertation now whichever aspect of of this um, project now they have three parts of different projects uh, three parts of different project now the first part we call it the preliminary pages preliminary pages that's the first part of whichever either the project the thesis or dissertation it has three parts the first is what preliminary pages now this preliminary pages from its name has to do with those things that comes before the main body okay now it will be the title page um the cover page um certification page um dedication page acknowledgement table of content and abstract now we're going to see all this in isolation in another video we're going to dissect them one after the other okay so that's what the preliminary page okay so those are the, uh, the pages that comes before the main why the next one is the body the body now this is the main aspect of the project now the body deals with five chapters okay now the five chapter consists of the chapter one which is the introduction okay the chapter one which is um the introduction whereby you have to state the background of the study the statement of the problem um the research um, um, objective the research question the hypothesis the significance of the study okay and definition of terms all this will come in what the chapter one which is as part of the body chapter two you have your what your um conceptual framework would have to do with the um, definition of concept also have the operational conceptual framework we have uh, the theoretical framework we have the empirical we have research gap okay now the chapter two chapter three is what the methodology the methodology also um includes the research design we have the research design we have um the model specification and other item there the chapter four have to do with the presentation of the data and the analysis why chapter five has to do with what the um summary conclusion and what recommendation okay now these are the five chapters that have that comprise the what the body why the final aspect is the conclusion the final aspect which would term conclusion okay the final aspect which would term conclusion is uh, the bibliography the appendix and the research tools okay this other aspect will come in the as in the final part so these are the three but no matter how either the project the thesis or dissertation okay it must pass through this um, um three stages the preliminary the body and uh, what we call term it as the word the conclusion okay so that is um the introduction aspect now in other videos we are going to dwell into the body get into chapter one one comprise of the what the breakdown of the study and different aspect okay so thank you for watching this and just to let you know that we um, offer services as regard research if you are going into um any of this and you need our support you can call the number showing on your screen or you can chat us up as regards um accounting banking and finance as far as uh, in terms of what business okay in terms of business so definitely we can help you with what um, um topics we can um help you with the writing we can help you with the editing we can help you with what running data analysis whichever services as regard research you want us to help you with okay so just let us know so comment in the comment section uh, below the aspect of research that you want us to talk about okay now i've done a video on seminar before that will help you now watch this and how to present it will help you watch it now thank you